All right, guys, just going to go over this camcorder. Um, it's a JVC, what they call a Evario R. There's several different models of this. Um, this one is actually the GZ FX 645AE. Um, different models. This one's got Wi Fi, for example. Uh, they've got, if you look for the different ones in the shop, you'll see these have different settings. Um, this one, I think, has got 8 gig of memory in. Uh, some of the other ones have 4. Um, this was the most expensive one because I was thinking there's not a lot of price difference. There's only like 20, 30 euros between them. It's quite a cheap camera. In a sense, it's about 200, and, I think about 240 pounds, about 300 and some euros. And I just want to run through some of the reasons that this is a useful camcorder. I know some people said, oh, I use my phone or whatever. But as I've said before, the problem with using the phone is that quite simply, when I go to make calls, the battery's flat if you record recording everything with a camera. So phone's useful. You know, I do take my phone everywhere. But sometimes having something like this, like for example, going over to the Philippines for two weeks, I could use this on a daily basis and still have my phone accessible for using as a phone. Um, so the first thing I want to say about this is it's waterproof, um, down to five meters. Now, you may think, well, that's not a big thing, but it also means that when it's raining, it's waterproof, which is one of the key elements of that. Um, it's got an LCD screen, which is the downside on this. Well, you can actually see me on there. Um, it's a bit... Bit insensitive. It's not sensitive enough for what I would be happy using on a regular basis. But in all honesty, once I've got it set up, I'm not really going to fuss about with it too much on this because this one's also got Wi Fi built in. Why would I want Wi Fi? When you come in and you can automatically set this up so it will dump all the videos and everything I've done on this straight onto the Wi-Fi network and up to my cloud server. So I can take everything straight off it without having to take the SD card out of it. Um, that's an, another advantage out of it. It's also got a good zoom on it, um, bigger lens, because obviously you go with things like GoPro, you've got a fisheye, go with a phone, you've got a very like pinhole size lens, so you've got a bigger lens on this, that's another feature. The zoom is actually an optical times 40. Now, you might think, well, what, what's, what am I talking about? Well, a lot of things, when you zoom with it, they start to pixelate. That is not a proper lens. This is this will actually zoom properly. Um, it's not pixelating and getting worse as you, the, the further you go out. So, oh, in fact, no, this is the next model up, isn't it? Um, this has actually got a 60. It's 60 times. The, the other one was 40 times, the one I was looking at earlier. Um, full HD, but it's not 4K. So you've got 1080 on there, uh, which is, I mean, predominantly this is for YouTube anyway, so I'm not really fussed on 4K. It uses the big SD cards, which just drop in the back. If we can, I don't know, we can get some good light in there. There's the SD card. As you can see, uh, light's terrible. It's just sitting in there. Then obviously you've got the HDMI connector and it's got this other AB connector and another connector it uses for power and other bits and pieces. Good feature with this as well is if you set up with Wi-Fi properly, you can actually stream straight to it as well and use it like a webcam. But obviously it's a higher quality, so there's another positive feature. Um, what else have we got on there? So I wrote some notes down on there. So SD card, the one I bought was 64 gig, and it runs fine. Um, it's got 8 gig built in as well. Generally, I don't use built in because I can guarantee just if something gets interesting, it cuts off. But it means if you've got that as a backup, it's useful for like if you're at a festival and actually run out of memory, you can actually swap it over in the settings. Um, sort of record on both. Um, what else we got? few other bits and pieces yeah the way it's just not sensitive enough 
But the good things is it's waterproof, good in good in the rain. And it's got this what they call quad quad proof, which is it's waterproof, resistant, uh, dust proof, shock proof, and JBC say if you drop it one and a half meters, it won't damage it. Not that I'd recommend that because it depends how they define damage. <laughs> it may not damage the camera ability, but it may scratch it. That's what I'm talking about. And also freeze proof. That's that's another positive thing. And as I said, this one's got the Wi-Fi built in. And there's a couple of bits of software you need to download. Ivano Sync 3, which is for using it for downloading your stuff as well. And for backups, they call it Loilo. Um, which is a piece of backup software. But the next videos, which is why I'm bringing this up, the next videos I'll be doing on this channel um, and also the Alicante channel are predominantly going to be on this, which will also test the audio out properly. The video on the other channel relating to the horses for the day and the, the mini golf was this. Now, I haven't altered any settings yet because I think some of the... Um, camera quality settings relating to the picture quality needs adjusting um, but I haven't even opened the manual yet so to be fair it's not the camera's fault it's because I haven't read up on it yet but so far so good the battery life on it's five hours um, zoom functions really easy to use on the top here just moves it's very smooth um, the only thing I would have liked is actually a bit of automatic shutter there when you open it it opens a shutter um rather than a dust cap because the problem i get with dust caps if you notice on the horse uh, video on the alicante channel you'll hear a rattling sounds it's actually this rattling in the wind <laughs> um and all the buttons the the bleeping in there there is a silent mode it's <coughs> Silent mode in the camera to switch that off. I apologize, I'm still coughing. Uh, but so far, I do like it. It's quite, it's a good size camera. I've got a little bit of a safety feature here. Um, the locking mechanism goes across, then in, and then to undo it, there's actually a little safety catch in, in the bottom there. So it's very like the kids ain't going to mess around with it too much because they, they can't just open it. It won't open. Uh, same as if you bump it, it ain't going to fall open either. So there's a lot of work gone into this. Obviously, it's JVC. Um, and so far, so good. From what I've used on it so far, it's been pretty pretty good. Um, I want to give it some test runs though, uh, just to see how the picture in that is. Because like I said, we'll just test it with some of the camera footage rather than just putting little snippets. Because I don't think snippets really help. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to pick the best footage. Um, and what I'd rather do is actually just use it for the next few videos and then you can make your own mind up because at the end of the day, if April's filming with it when we're driving in the car, you might be able to detect the car movement. Um, in the same way, if we're, the kids are running, it's checked for the motion and things. But the good thing about this is, though, it, the thing like the dust protection means like if you use it for fishing and, you know, like when you... <laughs> You suddenly get a bite and you drop everything to grab the rod. If you drop this in your bait bucket, it's still going to be fine. And you can actually just stick it under the water and wash it off and away you go. And now you know why I bought it for the Philippines. Because not that I'm going fishing in the Philippines, but it means there's a camera it can take. If it ha hammers down with rain at some point, doesn't matter. If we're out on the tricycles and stuff and you get that road smog, doesn't matter. Um, I know myself going on the motorbike in the Philippines, one of the things I often do if I'm going in the city is when I come out, I actually have a shower just to wash the dust off. So the point being is I'm prepared this time with my camera. Now, the there is a few advantages with this over using my GoPros because I've got a couple of GoPros. Uh, the main one being I can actually see what I'm taking without having to do... Where's my phone? just on my phone a second ago because normally I'll record with a GoPro and I'm using the a phone to control it I'm trying to get away from having to use the phone for recording because I'll be using my phone as a phone um, so I never get caught out with a low bat but anyway wanted to share that um, so far I would give it a four hour of five um, from everything I've done with it 
the only, the only thing that's let me down, in all honesty, is the lens cover, because it, it can make that sort of noise. Um, and then the, the display not being fantastic. But then again, this is about 250 pounds, not 4,000 pounds. So you get what you pay for. And for, for 250 pounds, I think it's a pretty good camera.